Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to crimp this copper lug terminal onto thick battery cable. The first thing you need is to make sure you have all your materials. So here I have my 2 watt battery cable. I'll also have a copper lug terminal and heat shrink sleeve. I also have this heavy duty cable cutter to cut the thick battery cable down to size. I also have a pen and a box cutter to mark and cut the insulation jacket off of the wire. To crimp the lug onto the wire, I have this hydraulic crimper, but you can also use this cheaper hammer lug crimper. We actually have experience using both of these crimper and really recommend the hydraulic crimper instead because it makes consistent high quality, high quality crimps every single time. And lastly, we have a heat gun to activate the heat shrink over the wire. For all of these materials, we'll put a link to them in the description below, or you can find a product list on our blog at asobolife.com. Let's get into the details. When you first get your wire, it usually comes in a single line of about 5 to 15 feet long. So you'll need to measure how much length you need and cut it so that you can connect one component to another. For example, a fuse to a battery switch. And to do this, you'll need this heavy duty cable cutter. But if this is your first time cutting 2 watt cable, it can be quite difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Unless you're ridiculously strong, you can't just squeeze the two handles together to cut through this thick gauge cable. We'll show you how we do it. Here, we already marked our cut line with our pen. And when you're ready, open up the blades, insert the wire, and when you're ready to go, you wanna put the full weight of your body onto the handle of the cutter and cut through as much of the wire as you can. And when the cutters no longer move downwards onto the wire, you can open up the blades and you want to rotate the cable roughly 90 degrees. And again, cut down by pressing, putting your weight on the handles. You'll need to do this several times, maybe 20 to 40 seconds, until you can finally cut through this thick cable. And there you have it, a pretty clean cut. Next, we have to cut away the thick insulation jacket to expose the copper conductors. But before you do, you'll want to measure and mark where on the jacket you'll be cutting with this pen. We like to place the wire end side by side next to the lug with the tip of the wire aligned with the end of the copper barrel, like such. Then with our pen, we mark out our cut line on the insulation jacket at the end of the lug here. And that's all we're looking for. Then with a box cutter, we carefully cut in a circular motion around the jacket. Be sure not to apply too much pressure so that you don't cut, accidentally cut through some of the copper conductors. When you feel like you've cut most of the jacket away, you can simply twist and pull the insulation jacket off to make the final separation. And now we're ready to crimp the lug on. Like we mentioned earlier, we really recommend this hydraulic crimper. Virtually anyone can make strong crimps using this device. One important tip if you're working with stranded wire like we are, you'll want to select crimping dies that are one size smaller than your wire gauge. Here, we are using one aught dies to crimp our two aught cable. That's because stranded wire, unlike solid wire, has airspace in between the tiny conductors, meaning that the wire can compress more than solid wire, so you'll need a smaller die. When you're ready, insert the dies into the crimper, Then insert your wire into the lug, making sure you catch every single wire strand. Then when you're ready, insert the lug into the crimper. And begin squeezing the handles to make your crimp.
For larger lugs, we like to make two crimps, one on the top and one on the bottom. So we're going to put this lug back into the crimper to make a second crimp. And this is what your final should look like. You should have a strong crimp that, that you cannot pull out. Lastly, place the heat shrink sleeve over the lug. We like to place the heat shrink just so that it starts to cover the lug as the metal begins to rise. Then activate the heat shrink with a heat gun. And there you have it. It looks like it takes a lot of work just to make one terminal end, but the more you do it, the faster and easier it'll become. If you're making an electrical system for your camper van, we provide lots of free materials, including wiring diagrams, on our website at asobolife.com. Happy building.